So let's go ahead and bring in the strawberry as a collider into the into the dop sim. So I'm just going to close. If I close that, it will clean that up for us. And I'm going to head out here. Um, maybe yeah, we could just quickly rescale the the size of this because obviously it's way too big right now. I'm just going to make just quickly um, bring it in a bit. Let's say I don't know if we go to show all objects so I can see. I'm just going to drop this down to 2.5. 5 say something like that uh, that'll do for the moment and yeah let's uh, let's build up a, a, a collider right so I'm going to drop another geo we've got our strawberries here and I'm going to bring them into here just to clean it's not necessary but just so it's a bit more organized so I'm going to call this collider jump inside and I'm going to use an object merge I don't think we've used one yet, but these are quite common. So in itself, we don't have anything going on. If I hide other objects, you can see there's nothing, no points, no primitives, there's nothing inside here. So this is just a way of fetching information. It's like grabbing uh, another network and then continuing it here. So you can do that within the SOP itself. So if I come here, you can see there's the end of this network. And if I, sometimes, you know, the networks can get, can get very busy and you, you don't want to have lines kind of crossing over, can get a bit annoying and, and just a bit messy. So either for organization, you can use an object merge like this, and then you go in here, find your out. That's why we have caps lock because it's at the start. And then it just continues again. we got exactly the same thing here. Right. Um, another handy, handy thing that you can do is you can just literally click and drag and drop that in. It's quite an easy way to do it. You can also, if you copy and paste, you can do that. Right. Control C, Control V. Different ways of uh, grabbing them. Now, since I've got uh, this path, I can just actually Control X to take that from there, go back into my collider, control V, and then I've got the same thing. Great. Um, transform. We don't have any transform here, right? So that's when you need to change this into, into this object. In this case, it doesn't matter. But if you have trans, transform on object level, you need to do uh, this, right? Um, we will leave it like that. So the same as before, we need to use the collision source to generate our uh, what we need, the VDB and the polygons. Well, in fact, the polygons will be the same. It just It's just for the VDB. We could just use a uh, VDB from polygons. It would probably, I think it would be the same, but we'll use this just for, for clarity. So just like before, two nulls, one here, one there. Okay, call this again like before. Paul VDB. Oh, yep, VDB. And let's take a look at the VDB. So you can see there, because this is a bit smaller, if you remember the strawberries, we took them down to 0.5 or 0.05, the size. So let's bring the voxel scale down to 0, 01. Let's see what that gets us. Still really coarse, but you know we'll come back to this uh, later. And here, as this is a simulation, we've already got a velocity, right? So we don't need to generate velocity here. Right, the polygons come through the same, basically. Got our VDB there. Maybe I'll, I'll drop it just a little bit. Let's do uh, 05. Okay, that's fine. So now back into the into the solver, and we need to drop a collision. Oh, sorry, a static object. Okay, 
make us make some space Let's drop a merge connect that up and again swap around so make sure that this this is affecting this and let's connect up what we've got so our let's see the sub path will be the polygon surface so let's see collider pol will go there object path will be the ob this collider so there and in collisions volume let's take a look what we'll use for this I'm going to use the volume sample if you remember that will use the volume that we generated earlier as a not a proxy really but it will use that to generate the VDB within uh, DOP as well I think within DOP it generates a, a Houdini volume and a VDB is a bit more um, is uh, just works better it's faster I think right so let's take a look at what we've got now if we come to collision guide we can already see something so a bit crude at the moment just a general shape that that's fine for the moment we'll leave it as it is now let's see what we get if I press play so couple of problems that we're seeing already so the narrow band is not working right so that's because we've got it's not considered considering this as a you know a solid fluid so if we come into the flip solver then we can see that narrow band turn on narrow band simple as that and also the fluid passed through the ground outside of the bounds so come into the flip object and we got closed boundaries so just turn that on and all the boundaries will be um, will stop the particles from passing so now let's press play again okay seems to be working ah one more thing I forgot we need to allow the strawberries to move we do have where is it deforming geometry let's try it one more time so I just paused the video there for a second just to let the cache play out. Um, obviously it's really the resolution there is, is way too high or the particle separation is too high we need to drop that down to get a, a higher resolution It's kind of sounds like a contradiction in terms but to get you know more points basically. Um, obviously it's way too high now but just for proof of concept we can see uh, we got moving geometry colliders and the, they will be displacing moving the particles when they contact them there you go you see them being moved around 